Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Modern Warfare 3. Today, Call of Duty did it again by adding something broken into the game. Yes! 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 In this week's update, we got a new conversion kit for the Haymaker called the Jack Mag Lift Kit. I need it! Y'all already know how much I love shotguns, so I definitely have to check this one out. From what I've seen online, this new kit essentially makes the Haymaker a machine gun shotgun hybrid. We do not care. Just to give y'all an idea for this mod, you get a new binary trigger and reinforced magwell to accommodate the extra drum mag that caused this kit to become a room clearing machine. We don't care. Let me tell you, right, let me tell you <laughs> we don't care. What that translates to is a massive increase in fire rate, ammo capacity, recoil control, and damage range. You do take a hit to the overall damage and reload speed, but the pros definitely outweigh the cons for this kit. And just to give you an idea what the differences are, this is the regular haymaker, no attachments or kit. Now when we throw on the conversion kit that should change very quickly let's check it out okay this thing is troll i cannot so off the rip you already see how the magazine capacity is already up at 60 and then i mean there's just no tomorrow with this look at that I mean, you're basically shooting a machine gun with the spread of a shotgun. For today's video, we're gonna take the Haymaker out in a day and see how it does on a smaller map with lots of people. The idea is to hopefully cause some destruction and make some people angry. Before we get started, if y'all enjoyed the video, drop a like and comment down below if y'all have unlocked this conversion kit. I know it's a little bit annoying, but in my eyes, it does help keep the game a little bit more fun. So let me know how you're feeling about it overall. Most importantly, make sure y'all sit back and relax for this one and let's get this started. All right, y'all playing on Stash House. I got a feeling it's gonna be a fun one, so let's get it. Oh! Oh! Where are they? Dude, there's a guy right here. Yo, this gun is too much. <laughs> this gun is too much. <laughs> what? This gun is fucking broken. Oh, shit. Come on now. Okay. If we can get a little streak going, that'd be perfect. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Man, this 60 mound rat mag, man. You don't even have to worry about reloading with this sucker. And even the reload's not that bad. Oh, shit, I don't wanna be there. Yeah, psych. No, 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 no. I'm gonna close that door, thank you. Oh! Bro, I gotta overwatch, let's go. Look at that range. Bro. Nah, son. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> I got the advance, though. Oh, wait, no. I'm on off. What? Oh, no. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude. Nah. Oh. Come on. Dude, this gun's insane though. This thing is troll. Definitely no skill required. No skill required. No, 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 come on. That's the one thing I don't have, um, I don't really have like attack animation for my buttons. So it just kind of goes for it automatically. That auto attack screen, I guess what they call it. Yeah, right. Oh, this is what, I don't know. I know these attachments and these kits can be very annoying, especially on a shotgun, but I don't know, man. I think it's what keeps Call of Duty fun at the end of the day. It's not meant to be serious like that all the time. Man, that shit was funny. What a start, man. Oh my god, what a start. Oh shit. No, oh, no, he got me. See, now everyone's got their freaking shotgun out. Oh yeah, right, but you can't beat mine. No, sir. Whew. What? Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. I thought he got me with the sniper, honestly. Psych. Come on, I got streak up again. That was bueno the first time, but we gotta keep it going. Woo. Bro, I'm going, I'm rushing this guy. Screw that noise. Man, if I got that advance, man, that would have been a game changer. Oh! Nah, son. Come on, let's streak up again. I'm down. 
Dude, the range on this is ridiculous. This gun literally acts like a, like a shotgun in a, a, a machine gun had a baby. Oh. Now you do again take a hit to that damage overall, so you are gonna have to spray and pray. But man, I mean, look at this. This is not even fair. <laughs> this is attaching so fucking troll. I cannot. I cannot take this seriously enough. I mean, like, look at this. Like, you don't even have to worry about your ammo capacity. No, okay, that's probably one situation where you're not gonna win, no matter what. It's almost like when you tap it, if you tap it fast enough, you can almost get two, two shotgun shells out at once. It's kind of intense. Be a little bit harder to get it going, but well, now I did. Come on, man. Oh, yeah, right. You need to change your class setup if you want to be able to compete. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, right. See, when you are far enough, though, it does take a few bullets to start getting it going. Dude, for a 60 round mag on a shotgun, this takes no time at all to reload. That's the beauty of this attachment. And there's a guy just chilling over there. No freaking way. I can't see. I can't see. Oh, I can't. I can't move either. No, god damn it. What? What happened? I mean, look at that range, though. Oh, come on. Come on, brother. Woo! All right. A little bit shaky at the end, but man, it was good at the beginning, man. I'll tell you that. This gun is insane. I need to take this on rust or shipment. Shipment, actually. Yeah, we're going to go on a shipment next. All right, not too bad. It really popped off the beginning, but man, I, I kind of fell down at the end. Kind of unfortunate. It is what it is. We still came up on top. All right, y'all. So I had to force the shipment gameplay. It was a must. I got to see how nasty this gun is on this map. Look at that with the interstellar camel too. I did some grinding y'all. I put in that work. I may not have been making videos, but I've been still putting in that work. All right, so these guys are a little bit interesting to play against off the rip. This gun is a hit marker machine. That is probably the biggest downside with this weapon. But man, for a shotgun? I mean, if this is all I had to deal with and I get the fun aspect out of it, I'll take it any day. Oh, no, 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 yeah, right. Get the hell out of here with that sh Come on, come on. Yeah, right. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, wait, 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 what's going on here, guys? That's one. That's two. Oh, okay. Dude, this gun. Oh, you might as well consider this an assault rifle, man. This thing is nasty. Completely nasty. No, 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 no. We're not going to let that happen. I'm going to reload. I'm going to reload. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pop that off. Come on. Oh. No. Oh you f shit. Who's back here still? God damn you guys! Get out of here! What the fuck? Man, this thing's got me high. I'm sorry y'all. Excuse the language, but I'm high. This weapon is high! I know, no skill. I know, no, no, I know, no, no. I know, no? Oh. I know, this gun takes probably no skill to use. But dude, we're playing on freaking shipment. What do you want from me? I mean, what do you, what do you want from me? I mean, they're just spawning in front of me at this point. Whoa, 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 get out of my spot, bro. Are you freaking serious? How is the airspace still too crowded? Dude, I, I choked that shit so badly. I mean... Are you serious? What? It's not even fair. 
This gun is not even fair, y'all. I'm telling you right now, it's not even fair. It's not even fair. You give this to someone who knows what they're doing, it's not even fair. Oh. Ah, shit. Had to go again. I mean, dude, I'm lost for words right now. This gun is, this gun is all kinds of good. I need to streak up again. I know that for sure. And there's only so many gun fights you can win. Oh, but that's going to be one of them. And that's going to be one of them as well. Yeah, right. Come on now. Stupid. I don't need it. I don't need a new map. Why do you need a map for this? With this weapon, why do you need a map? This is the only thing that's ever stronger than any weapon in this game. Oh my god. Yep. Okay. Okay. Let him come. Let him come. Dude. What the f I probably should get out of here, honestly. Whew. I'm glad I made that decision. I don't know what the hell's going on. Can reload. Oh, get. Let me. Let me move. Oh. Let me move. Two off of another Harrier, looks like. It's the biggest piece of dog sh I mean, you can see the potential with this weapon though, right? Look at that. Unfortunate. Oh, what is going on over here? I mean, that 60 round mag is too much, man. I mean, what, what are we doing, y'all? Are we sniping or what? What's the game plan? No, I can only do so much. I can only do so much. 85 freaking kills. 80, 80, probably 90 kills almost now. Insane. Insane. Dude, I don't even care. Like, look at how this gun makes you feel. Indifferent towards anything. Yep. My goodness. Is it even fair? Oh, I almost had the last kill. I should have just pushed it. My goodness. 113 kills, y'all. You cannot make this up. This is crazy. My God. I've had this much fun playing COD in, in probably weeks now. I didn't think there was anything that was actually gonna get me hooked back in, especially with the shotguns, because I don't know if y'all know, they nerfed the crap out of that Lockwood. But man, this feels good. This might be the new go-to class setup, y'all. If you're looking to have some fun on some small maps, I would definitely, definitely recommend this without a doubt. All right, y'all, so I'm sure you're curious what the class setup you know we used was to make all that magic happen uh so real quick just going to show y'all of course we want to go ahead and add that jack mac lift kit it's going to give us all that madness you saw earlier and then just to help balance some of those uh recoil increases that we have to deal with uh first one we're going to add is the x10 modified choke we're going to get a increase our hip fire and tax stand spread as well as a tighter pellet spread and a little bit more damage range this gun is a little bit of a hit marker machine so any little increase in range does help i'll go ahead and throw the stats up there so y'all can see that uh, so while maybe four or five percent here and there again it does help in the long run definitely recommend that for the first attachment or technically the second attachment next for the stock we're gonna go with the mw8 ruthless heavy stock what this is gonna do is increase our recoil horizontal and vertical control basically make this a little bit more manageable do lose a little bit to the ads speed not too worried about it though this gun still aims down sights fast and it's a shotgun you really don't have to aim down if you don't know you want to and then for the rear grip we're gonna go with the molten assault grip what this is gonna do is for 
further increase our recoil gun control and vertical and horizontal and give us a little bit of that sprint to fire speed so a lot of times especially if you're playing on small maps like shipment rust or stash house there are gonna be a lot of tight corners you run into so the faster you can bring up the weapon if need be the better it is for yourself and then last but not least we are gonna go with imperial long barrel what this is gonna do is increase our bullet velocity and range and you can see there again we're trying to help this gun as much as possible just to give it that extra oomph when you're shooting it down range any little increase in range does help so I definitely would throw this on there so that way you maximize this gun's damage and I'll go ahead and remove my camera so y'all guys get a good look at it if you want to take a screenshot go ahead and do that this is definitely the class that I would recommend running if you are looking to have some fun with this class as y'all saw earlier with the gameplay it is a lot of fun I think it's fast paced it's rewarding uh, it's a little bit scummy and troll I know that but hey you know what this game this game's not got a lot going for it right now I'll be quite honest so any little spark of light or any little laughter we can get out of it does help and yeah if you guys haven't already unlocked the kit again go into your weekly challenges you can probably knock most of it out with two weapons I believe I did it with the haymaker shotgun for most of those challenges and then I think I whipped out the Renetti pistol for one of the other challenges I can't remember exactly which ones they are at the moment but if you go in there they're super easy it's one of the easier weekly challenges we've had so far all right y'all so that's gonna wrap it up for today's video hope y'all did enjoy the new haymaker gameplay with the conversion kit this gun is definitely fun it's kind of a troll weapon that doesn't take itself too serious considering how ridiculous it is in multiplayer uh, but i hope you guys do give it a try just to get a little bit of a taste for this for what this kit has to offer let me know down below how much y'all enjoyed the video leaving a like is always appreciated subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with big events with call of duty last but not least stay safe out there y'all and i'll catch y'all in the next one peace